What is going on Wildlife X team? This is Michael here and in today's video we are going to be talking about the six most common urban wildlife animals. So as humanity has expanded we've created cities, we have roads, we have buildings, we have all kinds of stuff which is not found in nature. Many types of wildlife animals have unfortunately become extinct, they've receded, uh, we've kind of just kicked them out, but there are some wildlife animals which have survived, but not just survived, but thrived in urban environments. So in today's video, we're going to go over the six most common urban wildlife animals, and uh, these are animals which have not just survived or coexisted with humans, but are actually doing very, very good, and they are starting to thrive. Without further ado, enjoy. So first on the list, and this is in no particular order, are rats and mice. Rats and mice are very small and they need very little to survive. They're attracted to nice, tall, or small, kind of tight areas. So sewers, in between walls, under buildings. Uh, our urban environments are just perfect playgrounds for these little, little critters to run around. For they, you know, they can source food in sewers, they can scavenge food from trash cans and whatnot. But they're very, very protected from the predators that would normally eat them because they can go in these small little environments inside of our homes and they are going to be able to survive like that. So rats and mice uh, have actually exploded with urban advancement and again this is because they are safe there. Now the one downside to rats and mice is that they can spread disease. The Black Plague in Europe, uh, which wiped out about a third of the population, was actually spread by rats and so there is a little bit of a health risk when it comes to rats and mice, hence why a lot of the health departments and governments around the world are extremely like, no rats, no mice. Uh, that's like the last thing you want to find in a restaurant, in a public building, in a hotel, and uh, especially your home. So if you find a rat or a mouse, uh, kick it out <laughs> and you know, don't, don't hang on to it or whatever because they can carry disease, but you can also buy pet rats and pet mice as a kid, I actually had uh, two pet rats, and uh, these are going to be cured of diseases and whatnot, so they're going to be safe. They're nice, cute little creatures to have, uh, but of course, if they're found in the wild, they can be a bit aggressive, uh, and in urban environments as well. But they absolutely love our buildings, and they are thriving because of us. Second on the list are pigeons. Pigeons will eat just about anything we humans give them. They're like the common city bird. I'm gonna put a picture right up right now. You probably have seen pigeons everywhere. Okay, they have exploded due to our urban environments. Uh, it's very easy for them to source food in these urban environments, and more often than not, humans are just feeding them. So they love us humans. They're not gonna stay close to us. Uh, they're generally not too much of a problem but they love us and uh, we're feeding them and so they're becoming everywhere. Number three is raccoons. Raccoons are highly intelligent. Scientists think that they're actually more intelligent than dogs and cats, almost as, as intelligent as apes. This is absolutely insane, but uh, recent studies done on them have proven that they're just absolutely intelligent. They're very curious, very persistent, and uh, motivated persistent raccoons can even open complex locks, all right? They will raid trash cans, they can find their way into your home, into your attic. Uh, they're not generally too much of a nuisance, however, they can carry rabies, and if you ever get bit by a raccoon, you should get checked out immediately. We have a video on our YouTube page that you can check on this, uh, so do not get bit by a raccoon and everything should be okay. They can also cause problems for wildlife animals, or sorry, not wildlife animals, but your pets, um, your home and whatnot. So just keep the raccoons away, and if you ever need help, you can contact Wildlife X team and we'll help you out. But raccoons in general are not the worst problem, and they have absolutely exploded in urban environments because our urban environments are like a playground for their intelligence. They're able to learn. Uh, they're learning how to navigate our cities, our streets, how to get food. They're growing in intelligence and uh, scientifically proven urban raccoons are smarter than rural raccoons. So they're literally growing up when they grow up inside of a city. They're growing up in a totally new environment, but they're adapting just like that. All right, number four on the list is squirrels. Squirrels do not typically eat human food. Instead, they're going to source nuts and fruit. They're actually not native to urban environments. That is, they actually tried to recede along with all of the other wildlife animals when we made our cities, 
but actually humans reintroduced them to our parks and our urban environments and so they kind of just exploded like that because they're not much of a threat uh, you know, they're not aggressive, they're, that not, they're not much of a threat, they're not going to be a hassle or a nuisance or causing fights. They're generally no problem at all whatsoever. There's a small risk of disease, but squirrels are going to run away from you or your uh, pets or whatever, so they're pretty much going to be no problem at all whatsoever. They're cute, they're fun to watch, they source food, they hang out in the parks, and they're usually no problem at all. But squirrels, uh, we reintroduced them on purpose into our urban environments to liven up the parks a bit and it was a huge success they exploded in population now they're everywhere all around the world but they're no problem at all five on the list is rabbits oh rabbits are so cute uh, rabbits actually used to make like little bunnies and whatnot in my backyard and so literally while mowing the yard growing up as a kid, I would have to be careful because sometimes there would be like little pockets of like little bunnies and baby rabbits and whatnot. And uh, so they're absolutely cute. Who doesn't like rabbits? They're in all the uh, kids shows. They're everywhere. They're insanely cute. They're not a threat to humans. However, <laughs> there is one bad thing about rabbits. Anyone that's a gardener probably knows that rabbits are a huge nuisance for the yard. All right, if, you have, if you're growing flowers, if you're growing carrots, if you're growing any type of food, rabbits will eat just about anything in the garden. So if you have a garden, put a fence up. Uh, if you don't want rabbits hopping around your yard, you can of course put a fence up. Generally speaking, rabbits are no problem. But if you are trying to grow things like flowers and whatnot, rabbits will probably eat them. So you should probably get a fence and keep them out. And six and final on the list are skunks. Skunks are generally harmless, harmless, but they do have a horrible skunk spray. If you get sprayed by a skunk, the smell is going to last for a very, very long period of time, okay? It's extremely frustrating. It's extremely hard to get rid of. We're going to make a video on that soon about how to get rid of skunk spray. Um, you know, the spray can get, even get stuck in wood or your property, so it's really frustrating. It can temporarily blind you if you get sprayed by it. However, as long as you don't try to attack the skunk, chase the skunk, or otherwise try to aggravate the skunk, you're going to have no problem at all whatsoever. Okay, skunks, uh, they're not going to go too near humans. They're also nocturnal creatures, just like raccoons, which means they're primarily out at night. You're very rarely going to see a skunk hopping around during the day. Uh, it's only going to be out at night, of course, when most humans are going to be asleep. So usually skunks aren't going to be a problem at all. And again, if you do see a skunk, don't try to chase it, don't try attacking it or whatever, because the spray is a huge nuisance. But as long as you don't attack the skunk, it'll go away on its own. It's not aggressive, it's not gonna attack you, it's not going to spray for no reason. So you're going to be completely fine. Now there are one issues with skunks, and it's like they really like to dig holes. And the reason for this is because they're looking for insects. So if you have a garden, they may dig and hang out near the garden, or even if you just have a yard, sometimes they'll dig random holes because they're looking for insects, they're hungry, they wanna eat something. So if you're noticing random holes in your yard and this is happening frequently, you might want to uh, consider getting checked out uh, because you might be having a skunk problem and a skunk bite might be living near your home, uh, under a little hole to your home or something like that. Uh, in which case you'll want a professional to get rid of the skunk because like I said, if you do try to attack or chase the skunk or whatever, it's going to be an extreme nuisance if it sprays on you. But other than that, uh, the occasional skunk you're going to see while hiking or whatever, no problem at all whatsoever. All right, so that's the video. We really hope you guys enjoyed. This is the six most common urban wildlife animals. There's a lot more that we did not include, so if you know any, leave it in the comment section below and uh, we'll let you know what we think about it and our general thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions in general, leave it in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos from Wildlife X Team. My name is Michael, we hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you later.